We're still looking at an environment that's extremely limited in terms of its carbon input. It's not going to have a biosphere like we see on the Earth, I would imagine. No, no, no. It hasn't no. got the energy input and the carbon input of, a, of, of yeah. like photosynthesis, as we've no. been saying. Yes. So you're probably looking at fairly simple forms of life. Essentially, it's going to be, if there's any life there, probably just single-celled. Probably. Yes. Unless something fancy is happening. Unless something fancy is happening. Can we can we speculate madly about like what we might find there if we could go we can there definitely and actually speculate look. madly that's what we do yeah that is what we do if you go there and, and somehow get under the ice and have a look what are you gonna see is it just gonna look like sort of no. the deep oceans on the earth so you've got some like fl- floodlights like, yeah just switch it on so for a start do you it's clear i don't know so for a start under the ice on earth it's mega clear it is really clear that's true and if there's not the high productivity of photosynthesis driving all the sort of detritus yeah. and crap you find in the oceans on Earth, maybe it would be really, really clear. And you might not have so much Man. currents and things whipping up. Well, that's the th- so that's the thing. It's going to have very different circulations, circulations yeah. and currents because it's not being driven by complex atmospheric, um, you know, heating yeah, and all inter- this crap. Yeah. Um, all the currents are going to be well the currents will be generated obviously by convection from down deep 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 down yes <laughs> tens of kilometres below yeah, sure and it's also going to be generated by tidal yes ship. that's one of, yeah that would be a huge che- that would be the biggest probably biggest yes yeah, so you're probably having a global constant global uh, circulation Maybe, yeah. driven by tides from Jupiter I don't know yeah um, and, and some kind of convection and if there are sources like vents then yeah. you could find these giant plumes of um, material of heat and material that could be stra- you could be tens of kilometers high potentially if the ocean's yeah, that maybe. deep i have this there's something about thinking about what it looks like down there that sort of terrifies me a little bit i'm not gonna lie <laughs> Yeah, well, it's like going when you have a, uh, you know, you think about the deep ocean. There's something foreboding about it. Yeah, yeah, like exactly. Something claustrophobic about it, but but vast and kind of vertigo inducing at the same time. Mm. Um, but even more so, <laughs> there's something about the fact that it's a on this this tiny moon, yeah. this distant sort of moon around this giant super hostile gas giant. surface conditions. Yeah. And then you're under 30 kilometers of ice and then you're looking... Yeah, so if you could somehow get floodlights down under the ice, just yeah. illuminate the whole thing. Obviously, you wouldn't be able to see the bottom. No. Um, pretend you can. Or pretend you're near the bottom. Pretend you're near the bottom. What would you see? What would you see? Well, if there's life, then you might see... Um, you'd see kind of things around the vents. So you get like... On Earth, you get those worms. Every, yeah. <coughs> Everything is going to be centered around those vents if they exist. Unless there's a mechanism for for mixing the oceans, which there would be, obviously they'd be mixed to a certain extent by these currents, but you'd still have these local concentrations yeah, of the nutrients. You, you would you would probably have like very localized areas. Mm. Like I, I would assume it would, if there is life there, it would look somewhat similar to the terrestrial hydrothermal vents because there's potentially even more currents and then things going on on earth well maybe not maybe if there's a very strong tidal force then maybe there are, it gets distributed faster mm. but you'd expect things to go where the concentration of nutrients yeah exactly is. that's where that's where that's what life does yeah and it doesn't have as we said it doesn't have <laughs> the global input from the surface no. of, of of carbon from photosynthesis it doesn't yeah. have that so everything is going to be focused around these these vents yeah and it, and it just all depends on how productive they are basically sure it, 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 as to whether you see purely just weird isolated patches that almost aren't even really connected yeah which would be mad um or whether you see large scale stuff and i mean i have this weird image in my head (laughs) of these of sort of giant sort of just microbial just made of microorganisms but these giant sort of billowing structures that that form around like vents. kelp forest type kind of yeah but but even bigger just way way bigger you know possibly kilometers in in scale um she's okay. these huge sort of <laughs> i don't know why i'm ba- <laughs> what i'm basing this on well maybe they could be exploiting um different sort of reduction oxidation gradients yeah as you go up it might change um this whole thing is like, it's like a big sort of biomat biofilm type type yeah. thing um that could then sort of 
bud off and break off and, and disperse yeah. and then maybe settle on a new vent or something and, and <laughs> like a tomato plant <laughs> yeah so maybe if you you had your floodlights and you illuminated you might see some of these kind of like membrane like sort of i mean i'm just making all this yeah. shit up but well uh, yeah i'm I trying mean... to imagine what because it's a similar age to the earth what four billion years of evolution might do in a purely microbial ocean like that yeah that, that is limited to it very can't, energy it limited. Can't go, yeah, it's very energy limited. So it can't go multicellular no. to any big, great degree. Mm. Um, and it's had, yeah, just, just millions of years of... I imagine something, yeah, some some sort of... Uh, based on terrestrial life, it would stromatolite like kind of communities of organisms. I mean, yeah. maybe you get like, whole forests of kind of lithified, like sort of rock formations yeah. that were formed by microorganisms over long periods of time. And they might... I mean, they, they might... Who knows? They might find ways... <laughs> Again, who knows? They might find ways because evolution is, you know, pretty clever at doing this kind of stuff. Yeah. Ways of maximizing the um, their access to these vents actually by modifying the structure of the vents themselves. Yeah. By kind of building themselves like lattices and 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 things and channeling the the output of the vents like a honeycomb type structure. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, like yeah. Maximum surface area. Yeah. Over the vents, and the vents change places, so they have to move around. Yeah, that's the thing. The vents aren't if they're anything like the earth they're probably not going to be in one place for long enough for something like that to really evolve but given enough i mean given enough time of evolution it's possible who knows what would evolve it's, it's hard to it's hard to say whether because on earth you obviously you find plenty of multicellular sort of animals and things living around these hydrothermal mm. vents like crabs yeah crabs big loving tube it. worms loving it yeah yeah there's weird looking tube worms <laughs> the big big sort of lip things at the end yeah filtering out things that you know organisms that are and they're packed full of bacteria as well like yeah. living symbiotically with them yes but of course those things are descendants of animals that would yeah. have evolved in you know clement nice happy surface environments yeah. based essentially based on photosynthesis photosynthetic yeah uh, food chains or whatever you want to call it yeah. which may have eventually go all the way back down yeah they may have evolved from something from a hydrophobic vent so there's a big cycle there yeah of course going back and forward yes but the actual existence of the animals themselves probably needs yes. that yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. so you probably wouldn't find big tube worms and crabs and stuff in, on probably Europa probably not assuming it's, it's you know carbon or energy limited in yeah. some way yeah probably yeah probably um, most of those things like you, like you said they they, uh, yeah and they re-entered those environments in the same way that um dolphins evolved or whatever you know they they were land and then they they re-entered the water yeah yeah but then the, the other option is though you, the other option is obviously there's just nothing there yes exactly what I okay <laughs> yeah. um which i mean it would just look like an uh, the abyssal plains yes although but probably clear. a bit different because the abyssal plains are covered in this like fine yeah. very organic rich sediment yeah none of that none of that shit there's no life there no but it might it might have mm, you probably find clays and stuff here and there though yeah that's true it, it might, might it might look fairly there. similar I mean it probably has, of, has yeah. a kind of regolithy type very fine, fine silty kind of yeah. thing going on yeah um, but it's mostly and then potentially some some large sort of weird hydrothermally structures of yeah. minerals and stuff maybe it, it would be really you tell you what that would be really interesting to discover a really a, 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 an ancient hydrothermal system that's been active for billions of years on Europa in a liquid water ocean and the origin of life never occurred yeah that would be pretty interesting yeah because it as you said earlier, loads of, the, yeah. one of the leading hypotheses for the origin of life is focused on hydrothermal vents and yeah. the kind of chemistry you get there so that to find that it's possible to have that system without starting life yeah just goes to show there's something else going on on earth that wasn't going on there yeah so that would be pretty a pretty spectacular result as well as finding life i think yes it would yeah it would help you ru help you start to narrow down exactly mm. what it is what are the crucial ingredients some people say that there, there's 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 ideas that certain types of hydrothermal vents are crucial not yeah. just standard hydrothermal vents yes. things like alkaline colder alkaline cold hydrothermal alkaline vents might hydrothermal be vents. particularly important which are actually kind of rare on the earth compared to the norm which tend to be acidic and you know, the big yeah. black smokers that you might have heard of yeah. just like churning out all the black shit yeah that um alkaline hydrothermal vents are slightly different and not yeah. quite don't quite look as sort of dramatic but no. potentially a, a bit more conducive to yeah to life so do you, do you we there's no surface features really on the uh, sorry there's no topography on the surface of europa the rocky core though might have might have mountains might and, have mountain and ranges and, and, and 
any i mean it could have anything yeah it could have you know anything that the any active body in the the solar system has yeah. big mountain ranges you know giant valleys, volcanic all features this kind of stuff it's just all smoothed over by the ice so it looks really round yeah 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 I, I mean we have really so little information on both of these worlds and the, the, Europa is based on essentially Galileo and, and a yeah. few images from the Voyager spacecraft and Galileo was ages ago Cassini is still active in Sa- yeah. Saturn system now did, just did a few just on did a few flybys of, of Enceladus recently, mm. like very recently, so recently that we don't, haven't got any information from those flybys yeah. yet, um, where they flew through the plumes a few times again. Yeah. So there could be some cool, cool stuff coming out of that soon. But basically, we just need another mission, um, and that's 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 the way it is. Yeah. Yeah. We need more information about both of these worlds. Yeah.